you guys, in, from your perspective, don't validate or verify prior to claim, do you? No, generally they won't. The there's, a, is... there's a little bit of, of practice starting to emerge okay. with things like Silence or BitSight, okay. which is ultimately like a credit score for your cyber hygiene done on a base level, maybe from a domain scan or something similar. Okay. So they might find uh, compromised email addresses or potentially an open port or something on a simpler level, but there's not validation throughout the process, right? Okay. They're not going to come out and run an agent on your on your network to see if all these tools are installed and right. configured the way you've described. Okay. So the value of having somebody like a, a one step in your atmosphere kind of comes in two ways. Okay. The first way is that for the things that you are doing well to protect your entity and increase your cyber hygiene, you will receive some benefit on rate of your policy, terms and conditions, or both. Mm -hmm. The second value is being honest about the things that maybe you're not doing as well as you could be doing does bring value because then you aren't tripped up at time of claim by a contradictory statement, right? At least you were honest up front and the carrier was fully aware that you didn't actually have 2FA, you just had Active Directory, right? right. So they cannot try to use it against you 